Twenty Club. What's up, everybody? Bazooka Rant time. Driving in the car a few days late. I was trying to uh, post this on Friday, but I found out. Oh, I had another one posted on Friday, but um, I had to do some digging. Um, of some things that's been going on behind the scenes here. Um, so my rant, episode seven, stealing students. All right, here we go. So if you are a gym and you're actively going behind other people's backs to tell students to come train with you, to try and steal your students, to try and go to fighters after their fight and ask them to come to your gym to train to help out their guys and then, oh, well, we'll train you for X amount of dollars compared to what your trainer trains. You're a fucking scumbag, right? If you are actively reaching out to people at other gyms that are training that you know are future people, future fighters that are going to probably be pretty good in this industry to train them for free because you know who their trainer is, you're a scumbag. If you are a person that actively is seeking out your friends to train them for fights, for their upcoming fights, and you know who they train with, and you used to train with them, and you still actively call that coach to train with the the original trainer who they now train with to get pad work, to hang out and to do stuff. And then you actively reach out to their students and try and steal them from you or steal them from you because you're now not charging them money to train at your gym. You're a piece of shit. I'm going to start calling people out. I've been super nice. Uh, I don't mess around. I've been, I don't want to step on toes. I'm having MMA in my gym and I'm not doing jujitsu because I don't believe as a purple belt jiu-jitsu, you should run a gym. Let alone have all the schools around my area who do jiu-jitsu feel like I'm stepping on their toes. I'm the only Muay Thai gym in Delaware. So don't actively reach out to my students, ask them to come to the, your gym to train at their program to help your fighters with their striking and they'll train you for free for jiu-jitsu. Don't do that. Don't come and say, hey, you're really good at wrestling. Don't worry about training with Joe. You pay him this amount of money. And we'll train you for free for your jujitsu and your striking if you help out with our wrestling. That's fucking bullshit. I work hard for the people who I want to work hard for. Right? I work hard for all my students. I work hard for all my family. Don't come at me and try to take money off my, my plate out of my pocket. And don't be a head coach of a gym... And be like, yo, bro, we should get some pad work in. I'm about to go to this big organization. Um, I've already been in this big organization. I'm trying to get back into the game. I really want to train with you. You're a great striking coach, blah, blah, blah. And then reach out to my students and try and get them in your gym. That's not my gym. I'm over it. I'm going to start calling people's names out. I've been really, really nice. And my rants have been pretty... Now I'm calling people out, but I'm telling you right now, if this happens again, or anything like this happens again, I'm dropping names, I'm dropping gyms, I'm dropping everybody, and everyone's going to know who I'm talking about, and if you know who I'm talking about, you should call them out for me, so I don't have to be that guy, but this rant is about stealing fighters and students from other gyms, we're all just livelihood, man, this is people trying to make money for their life, trying to survive, trying to take care of their kids, take care of their family. They're going to go out there actively reaching out to take students from them. Man, that's crazy. I'm, I'm over it. Listen, don't do it again. You know who you are. And if you do do it again, there's going to be consequences. Things are going to happen. That's all I'm saying. Have a good day. Cop and cop.